This is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV Competitive Team Fortress 2. And yes, Competitive Team Fortress 2 includes the Ready Steady Pan tournament. So this dog bread, he is excited. It's going to be on uh, Pro Viaduct. That is why we have the dog bread ready to watch the match. And you can see, you can see it in his eyes. He wants to see some players destroying each other with pans. So it's coming. It's coming! And we are on our way. Sir Medic with internet access here for, uh, I don't even know what these team names are. It doesn't matter. This game literally just finished, and I am recasting it from the demo because I was busy casting Canal Zone. And so, <laughs> what are you doing? You can't hit him with a rocket. You have to hit him with the pan. This is the Ready Steady Pan tournament. So far, it's looking like Dino versus uh, KM Schaller here, and Schaller, GTFO Patty, gets taken down first on the point here on Pro Viaduct, and that is going to be. Uh, Pretty decent capture that. I don't even know what number, what score they're playing to, so hopefully somebody in my stream chat can let me know. But that is, uh, this is going to get, this point will get traded very quickly, I'm imagining. Especially because, do recall, the, the spawn timers, if you're on, if you're trying, if you hold the point, spawn time is still going to be so bad um, that if you lose a single player, you're going to be in trouble. Right now, though, Team Sir, probably the, the Knights of the Pan, I don't even know. Um, definitely wrecking face right now. They they hold the point very convincingly. They've got a demo man coming in here, but Sir Carl, not to be dissuaded, he is an expert with this pan right now, ruining these guys. Holy crap. Is this the same Carl that went to uh, Lanified? I wonder if it is. Oh, we've got some milk coming out now. That is a pretty darn good idea here on uh, oh my gosh, on Ready Steady Pan, yeah, using the uh, the team assist as much as possible, and of course, if you've got if if your players are milked, you're gonna give health every time the enemy hits you. So trying to get into a situation like they just did, where they basically ran into the blue team, that's not gonna work out, not at all. Especially because random crits aren't on, and really random crits are the only way you're ever gonna get anywhere in a situation like that. Um, Girati coming out though, so you will get some some regular old mini crits there if they get hit by the Girati, but I don't think he actually hit anyone. Oh, there you go. Finally got a scout, but taken down by a loud, loud pan. Oh, this tournament was the best idea ever. And if you disagree, you can just uh, you can just go suck on lemons. Um, and apparently it's the... Wait. Are you are you joking? Okay, well, uh, my stream chat is telling me that at least I know the name of Team Sir. It is the League of Extraordinary Gentle Pans. <laughs> That's great. That's super awesome. All right. So Team Patty over here. I think it's Team Patty. I don't know. We'll be jumping in pretty soon, and uh, what are they doing? They're just going for kills at the moment, and so it looks like KM Schaller might take down the demo. No, not able to do that. And actually, there is a two-demo limit because, I mean, it's a demo pan. You can't not have a demo pan. Plus, look at the mobility on these guys. They are allowed to use the sticky jumper and the rocket jumper. Oh, KM Schaller taking on three pans at once. Now four, actually, turning around and, and hit the guy behind him. Interesting thing about melee detection in Source games like TF2. Um, if there's, like three blue people stacked on top of each other trying to hit one red person. I don't think any of them actually hit the red guy. I think they all just end up hitting each other's models. So, um, yeah, it can be kind of bad for your team to stack up on each other when attacking. But uh, right now, look at the times at the moment for this map. It is going to be very soon that the uh, the league here in the blue probably win this, this uh, round at least. And they're saying this is a best of three. So this could end up being pretty darn short as the league right now is, is set to win this one without losing the point once. Scumbag Patty's got to get in here and try to cap it. A decent little jump there, taking on players who are milked. Oh, that sounds so disgusting. But they can't stand on the point for long enough. It was an overtime, and there's just too much defense by our blue team. So that is going to be pan round one to Team Gentle Pan with all these pans everywhere. They're so loud. They're going to haunt my dreams. Sir Dino here, who... By the way, plays on a tin team. He looks like he's uh, he's about set up. He may go for a flank here. No, he is just going to try and... Oh, he's going for an ambush. But he's, he's spotted. They know he's there. It's the, the benefit of using that sticky jumper. You can pretty much get anywhere. You just, it seems like even using the sticky jumper, these guys don't want to get too far away from each other. Because it seems the, the, the big goal here is to make sure you uh, gang up on your opponents as much as possible. So that's what's happening right now. Um, Patty down. Temporarily, anyway. And now we just get to see uh, some pan fights. This is uh, this is the Ready City Pan Tournament, ladies and gentlemen. I say lady and gentlemen because there's probably only one lady watching. I don't know. There is more. Oh, my gosh. This is just pan brutality right now. It is awful, and I'm sorry. My mouse slipped there. 
But this is really bad. And you look at how, how hurt everybody is coming out of that fight, too. Uh, we do have a pyro with a pan right now, which... Does that even make sense? I guess it does. Does it? Um, they've got... Uh, I don't know. Pyro is probably a little bit faster than Soldier, but no, I don't think that does, actually, because Pyro doesn't have any benefit over the Soldier. Lower health... Um, can't use the... What do you call it? Can't use any, like, like a rocket jumper or anything. So, there you go. That's going to be Carl taking down the Pyro, I think. And uh, Carl now taking down Patty as well. Well, scumbag Patty. I'm Patty, on the other hand. Thinking, uh, I think he wants to hit this soldier, but it's not going to happen either. He just jumps out of the way. Doesn't want to be uh, want to be giving away health here. And once again, this, this could be a pretty one-sided round and a one-sided match. If it's a best of three, they will only probably play two rounds. And, oh my gosh. This is so loud. But it's so exciting, I guess, if you like pans. This is the most exciting thing on Earth, as Sir Carl's going to have to jump back for this health. Meanwhile, uh, Sir Rach, I guess, is I'm supposed to say that, is uh, looking like she wants to go for the pan kill on that soldier. Not going to happen, though. J.M. Wiley takes her out. It's just that that Pyro, not a very strong class here in the pan tournament, i got to say. Oh, it's milk versus milk. Which scout will win? It looks like the scout that grabs the health kit, probably. And what is this red scout doing? He's decided to just dive bomb the point or maybe run away. I don't even know. <laughs> LM here is just like, come on, I want to get the kill. But no, 404 with the destruction on I'm Patty. And uh, this is starting to look really one sided as the League of Extraordinary Gentle Pans is uh, very dominant on the point right now. There is going to be some more milk thrown down, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I did have to turn down this, like, extra low, because it is so ridiculously loud. These pans are the worst. Uh, a little bit of a flank in action at the spawn going on right now, which is just going to tie up a demo man for a little while longer. He is using the, um, what is that, the bootlegger, which I think gives him extra health. Not entirely positive about that, but I think that's what it does. Um, and, I mean, why not use that or the Wii booties? Because if they're not banned, that's a pretty useful thing. Let me see. There goes Dino taking out. Um, and we've got the sniper here, probably just to use the Jurati, but no Jurati available at the moment. There you go. Jurati coming out and will cause those mini crits on his opponents. But I'm not actually hearing any mini crit sounds. Maybe that's just because I'm not on the team. I don't know. Wow. Uh, our blue team is looking very, very dominant right now. I don't think that their opponents are going to cap the point at all. But hey, you know, better luck next time. This is, this is Ready Steady Pan. This is where only the best of the pans survive. And it seems like right now our blue team is going to be the best of the pans. So, uh, we'll be frying up and serving us some blue team on a, or some red team, I'm sorry, on a platter. And that's GG, ladies and gents. That is the Ready Steady Pan Tournament with, uh, with yours truly, with Salamancer. And so, <laughs> I hope this has been slightly entertaining. And if it has, do hit me up, give me a sub, put some comments down. Um, I have not gotten enough demos of this pan tournament. I was a little upset about that. So hopefully people send me more salamancer.tv at gmail.com. Or if you know, you just if you just want to have a chat, have a heart to heart. Um, maybe maybe you're feeling blue today. Maybe you should send me an email. Salamancer.tv at gmail.com and, and we can connect. But I will see you later.